Yeah, it's great. You know, it's, um, there's a lot of us in at the moment. Um, January and Feb are sort of big months for us in terms of getting our, our volume in. Um, I and quite a few guys took some time off sort of October, November and um, you know, have a good time over Christmas and New Year and then really start um, Jan and Feb hitting the ground running. So it's a really good chance to sort of get our volume in, fitness and, and skills and really upskill and um, the start of the season isn't too far away. Guys did some stuff before Christmas, mainly from a physical point of view. Um, and then it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's nice to enjoy sort of Christmas and New Year and then um, definitely come back in the ground in Jan sort of with, it, with intent and um, looking to get better for sure. But um, it's definitely nice to have that break. Um, and then, yeah, as I say, January, go for it. This week's a white ball week. Um, we sort of alternate red, red and white ball, um, try and get the most out of each week as possible. It's also a case of, um, you know, mixing it up. You know, if we, if we did sort of too long of, of red or white, then um, you know, the winters can be a, a bit of a slog in the indoor school. Um, uh, so yeah, this week was this, this week was white ball week, which was uh, you know good. We've obviously had a lot of uh, things to build from from last year, and um, both individually and collectively, we're looking to sort of upskill and and get better. And um, yeah, this week's white ball week. Next week's red ball week. So different things to focus on, and uh, it's great. A lot of the guys are you know good trainers. You know, certain guys have played at the the sort of higher level, um, whether that's international or you know with white ball this week. You know. The 100 and the franchise stuff from last year and I think we're getting better at um, sort of having peer feedback and, and trying to look to get better um, and to pick pick guys up in, in sessions so we're just trying to get better both indi individually and, and collectively for sure. Collectively we got so close last year, um, we were playing for so much in September, we put so much into last year and you know it was a success but ultimately we'll define ourselves by silverware so um, Definitely took a little period to sort of get over that um, finals day and the week in Liverpool, um, and you know, real big push now. Now it's the, you know, the season's upon us almost to to really push for silverware because we've got a great group and a lot of talent in the changing rooms, and you know, we're not far away. We want to deliver that that county championship win from you know, 1970s, um, and also that white ball success that we had sort of 10, 15 years ago. I don't think we're far away, but um, definitely a highly motivated group at the moment. Yeah, yeah, can't wait. You know, he's a class act, you know, having played against him for, for quite a few years. Um, he's been a thorn in our sides, you know, obviously that rivalry with Sussex. Um, you know, he's a quality operator both behind the stumps and with the bat and, you know, talk about how close we were last year to have a player of his ability, also his leadership um, sort of credibility um, can only add to the changing room and I'm really excited to welcome him in.